All right, what's up, DVW fam? So we just got seated here at Alexa's. It is a brunch spot right underneath the Eiffel Tower at the Paris. It used to be called the Hex, but it looks pretty good inside. Pretty chic, pretty nice. Looks pretty classy. And yeah, you can people watch on the strip. There's a lot of outdoor patio seating. There's indoor as well. But yeah, about to get our brunch on. So maybe grab a couple of mimosas and some breakfast and lunch items. Let's check out Alexa's. Right, we're hard at work walking the strip to get to the Hex brunch on the strip at the Paris. The Paris Eiffel Tower at the Alexa's brunch. All right, y'all. So it's brunch, so it's only right to get a drink. I got a Paloma right here because I like to see one of my drinks. Just a cocktail. We didn't get the bottomless mimosas, but the bottomless mimosas is thirty dollars. I don't think that's too bad for all you can drink mimosas. So let's try this out. Ooh, I can taste that grapefruit in there. Very fruity, but also bitter because grapefruit is kind of bitter. The Paloma. What do you got there? Sangria Blanco. Mm. This is really good. Sangrias are really refreshing. So I figured the white one would be extra refreshing and it is. It has like lemon and peach in it. Definitely recommend. Update on this drink if you guys want to get drunk and get bang for your buck. This is indeed a very strong Paloma. So if you want to get your drink on, this will do the trick. Salud. This burger is really hitting the spot right now. It has caramelized onions, so if you're a fan of that, this is definitely for you. Provolone and it's on a broche bun. It's just really good. This is on their um, regular menu or like their brunch menu, so I definitely recommend it. It's called the Hex Burger. Perfectly cooked, delicious all around. The fries are bomb too. They have like little, and you can see it, like there's like little speckles of salt. The best. Oh, so I see some pickles on here, some chicken, fried chicken. To be honest, these kind of just look like big pieces of tenders, like chicken tenders. Sometimes with chicken and waffles, they'll give you like the whole chicken. So yeah, I'm gonna take this chicken by itself. Nice and crispy on the outside. You're supposed to eat the chicken waffles with the syrup. So I'm gonna pour some syrup on there. Yeah. Some pickles right here. Let me get some, a piece with the waffle. Add a pickle too. So this is gonna be a piece with the waffle, a pickle, and a chicken. The main thing about the chicken and waffles is that the chicken is really fried and crispy. I like that about that, but like I said, they're not like a whole chicken. It's just in strips. Um, personally, I don't like mixing my sweet and savor. I would eat the waffles by itself and the chicken by itself. This is a pretty good chicken and waffles. I gave it like an 8 out of 10. Not the best chicken waffles I've had, but I think the main thing about this spot is that it has a nice view. It's right on the strip, you can people watch, and the prices aren't too bad. They're pretty average for Vegas standards. The Vegas get pretty expensive, so you guys want a scenic area to get some drinks and brunch this spot's not bad not bad at all what's up everybody so we're back from the hex brunch or the alexa's brunch back in our room but just to give you guys a little summary of the place it was pretty cool i feel like the main appeal to that restaurant was just eating brunch with drinks on the strip you know people watching the interior was really nice it was right outside of the paris so you're able to see the eiffel tower from where we're sitting we're right under it so brunch under the eiffel tower and on the strip it was major vibes but i'll say the food is pretty average it wasn't anything too crazy so overall i give that place an 8 out of 10 dvw score the food could have been a little bit better i mean it wasn't bad i enjoyed my brunch actually but i've been to other brunch spots that just has amazing food monobi Monamiga B next door was one of them, but the drinks were actually really good and pretty strong So you get the bang for your buck if you guys want to 
you know, have fun and have drinks. We didn't get the bombless and most of them, I'm sure those are good too. And they had a full on bar, a lot of drink options. So I think that's a pretty cool place to just hang out, get some food at pretty great prices on the strip. So yeah, guys, if you like this video, please like it. Comment down below where you should go next in Vegas and subscribe for more DVW vlogs. Deuces, the win.